Hello, it's Nick. Today I will show you how to design light and dark mode switch in Figma. Let's first type a text. Light. Select it and add it to Auto Layout. Make the frame slightly wider. And create a copy of the frame. Move the copy to the right side of the first frame. And change its text to dark. Select both frames and apply fill color. I will go with the default pure white. Add a stroke, select the first frame and change its top left and bottom left corner radiuses to 24 pixels. And I also want to remove the stroke at the right side of the frame. To do so, I will click on this icon and select Custom. Set the right side corner stroke to 0. Now we need to complete the same operation with the second frame. But this time we need to apply corner radius to the right side of the frame. So I will set 24 pixels to the top right and bottom right corners. And remove the stroke at the left side of the frame. Now let's highlight the active mode. In our case it's light. To do so I select the first frame and in the fill section change the pure white to neutral gray. Select both frames and get rid of the pure black. Change the stroke color from black to gray. And change color of the text to dark gray. Time to create a frame for our card. Select the frame element and draw a frame. Set the frame dimensions to 360 by 360. Drag the light and dark mode controls to the new frame. And give it a name card. Change card corner radius to 24 pixels. And in effects section add a drop shadow. Change the drop shadow properties, set Y to 2 and blur to 10. Now the main part. Select ellipse and draw one in the card frame. Set ellipse dimensions to 200 by 200. Position it closer to the center of the frame. Draw a smaller ellipse at the top right corner of the first ellipse. Set its dimensions to 35 by 35. Position it precisely at the top right corner. And change its color to pure black. Select a small black ellipse and give it a name Dark Indicator. And in the right side panel, in Fill Properties, click Height. Select Large Ellipse and change fill color from gray to yellow. Try to choose vibrant yellow color and avoid using dark yellow shades because they make UI look dirty. Once you find the right color, switch to the gradient. Stick with linear gradient but change the angle and ending color. Change the second color to orange. Looks good. Now select the entire card and create its copy. Give it a name Card2 and change the fill color of the second card from white to pure black. Select the dark indicator in the second card and make it visible. Switch to the scale mode and make the dark indicator ellipse larger. Now we have a crescent moon. Let's change moon color to a shade of blue. Both starting and ending colors will be shades of blue. Finally, select the light control in the second card and change its text color from dark gray to white. And the background color to black. Dark control will have a different background too. Instead of pure white, it will be neutral gray. Rename frames to 1 and 2. Select both frames and create a component set. Name it Switch. Select the first variant and click Prototype. Click on the dark control and create a transition to the second variant. It will be a smart animate transition. Is in and out. 300 millisecond duration. Now select the light control in the second variant and create a transition to the first variant. All animation properties will be the same. Time to test our design. Create a test frame. Set the dimensions to 400 by 400, slightly larger than our card. Move to the Assets tab and drag and drop the component to the test frame. Select the test frame and click Preview. 
works perfectly. Let me know what you think about this visual effect in the comments. Thank you.